Hey everyone, welcome back to class. We are on day four of our week at art school. We have five students remaining, and whichever one of them graduates oh. wins 10 grand. Morning, Zach. Morning. Hey, Zach. Good morning, class. How are you guys doing? Doing good. Yes. So for day four, we will be drawing. Since hey. this is my specialty, I will be doing a little class on it. I'll kind of tell you guys what I'm looking for. You guys will have five hours to make a drawing. Whoever performs the best gets an advantage for tomorrow's class. Whoever performs the worst is out of class. Now, before we start the challenge, let's take roll. When I call your name, you can say here and give me a random animal. Ryan. Here. Dragon. Shaq. Oh, I'm here. A cow. Moo. Savannah. Here. Sea turtle. Vanessa. Here. Lizard. Vinny. Here. Code. I'm not going to say what the animal names are for yet, but it's going to come back one of the later days. Today, you guys will be drawing. Luckily for you guys, this is my specialty, so I'm going to be going around giving you guys some advice, helping some of you guys out a bit. We have created this world world of characters. Ooh. We started originally with Turkey and we actually have, Ben, how many characters do we have? 10. I think we have more than that. 11? Sure, 11. So we have 11 characters and what you guys will be drawing is an environment with those characters. Oh my no. god. No. Nice <clears throat> this is the class I am most excited for today. As a lot of you guys know, I specialize in drawing and cartooning. I really want to just see them improve, put out some amazing artwork, and I want to help them out today too. I think we're going to have a lot of fun. So what I saw the last few days is you guys have been putting on a great show. You guys have been doing some great art. What I want to see this time is your take on my characters in your style, obviously, as well as putting them in an environment, which means background, stuff around the characters, the characters interacting with each other, the tools you have is a pencil. I'm going to give you guys a little rundown about composition. I love this. A lot of the times what I see from students is that they draw a character over here and they'll just put stuff around it. It doesn't look very dynamic. I'll show you guys a few ways you guys can fix this. Toss something like larger in the foreground, a few smaller items in the background over here. So if you look at it, you can get something with a lot of depth. Do you guys have any questions? Eraser 2? Yes. Your five hours has begun. Ben, would you like to send it to everyone? Yeah. Let me get the iPad. <sighs> I love this little bee looking guy. These are sick. Truly, they're so cute. We've been developing these slushies and characters for a long time. So I think it's really cool seeing all these talented artists draw and create a world using our plushies in their own style. Since these are actual plushies that you can buy, we actually have a lot of references they can use. So these will be sitting by you guys. Yay. Keep in mind, I want to see your take on what this world would look like. Drawing is not my strong suit, but Instance, these... we'll see. How? To make them creepy is the question. Now that my main competition, Michelle, is eliminated, obviously I'm out of my element. Well, I know I'm going up against a lot of really tough competitors right now. We're going to see if we can try to finesse our way again today. It's all about composition at the beginning. Try to use a few of my examples. If you need help later, I'm going to go around and help everyone out. Shaq, what are you thinking of doing today? As you know, I'm a graffiti artist. So graffiti art is basically like abandoned buildings, alleyways, these hidden jewels that people go and can, they can spray graffiti. We usually come out and we have like mini parties, so we'll put out like the barbecue and we have this long wall in the middle of the city and everybody's just like painting and it's a beautiful sight. Put the characters into that scene. Oh, yeah. For that fire guy, I'm gonna put him on the grill. Oh, there's your mushroom character. I'm choosing the mushrooms because I love them so much. This is super cute. Also, I'm gonna go with the bee. Those are my two favorites and I know myself well enough to know I need to be super interested in the subject matter or I'm going to get impatient and rush things. Oh, yeah. I want them to be in like forest with the sun rising. I would also recommend recommend you start out going in pretty light. Otherwise, you want to switch up your composition a little bit. It's going to be very hard to erase and replace them. I want to do like a uh, post-apocalyptic scene just because some of the characters have like armor and stuff on them and like some war paint. Uh, everything we've done, this is the most comfortable I am. I remember when I used to doodle in class, that's kind of how I got started drawing. I think the only difference is I got in trouble for it because I didn't do it in art class. And whenever the teacher would call on me, I think it's pretty apparent that I wasn't paying attention. Hey. I got better at art, so I guess it worked out. Students, when you guys are done with your composition, bring it up over here. I can brainstorm with you guys a little bit. You guys can see if you like a new one. If you guys want to make adjustments, I can give you guys some advice. It don't look like much right now, but we'll get there. Do you know perspective at all? That's your horizon line and it's like that. No, I don't. It's a good thing I'm in art class. If this is your vanishing point, it gets bigger and bigger as it like comes closer towards you. That'll help with your layout a little bit. We have a concept now, so let's just get to drawing. This is what I'm thinking. So my idea is to have this bee kind of flying close to the sun. I don't want to actually put the sun in there because I'm not a fan of the put the sun in the upper right hand corner thing. Why don't you have the sun in like the middle somewhere? I might have you show me how you would do that. But I want the bee to be losing its flower petal wings and then I'm going to have the mushrooms all floating trying to warn the bee. So I 
feel like you have a very dynamic composition going on over here. I'm really liking it. You could make a few adjustments to make it even better. I would layer this over the hot air balloon a little bit more okay. so it looks like it's in front of it. Okay. When it's losing its petals, instead of having it go straight down since they're in the air and flying around, so it looks like going all over the place and like going in front of you. Well, let's see if I can execute this with a pencil. Well, I really like your initial layout. I liked my composition, which made me really happy because composition's not normally a strong suit of mine. You guys know what time it is? There's some lunch over here. Feel free to grab anything. I'm taking a quick second break. I mean, my wrist is getting numb. I've started some shading. Pretty much just the tree. We only have a pencil. Ben and I are getting a little bit bored here, so we're gonna have a little drawing challenge. We're gonna have like a minute. I'm gonna lose. Ben did actually a really good job. This was my take. Mackenzie, let's see yours. She had about two minutes extra to fix it. The craft's queen, everybody. I don't draw. Doing some drawing again really takes me back to when I first started. I think that's what I'm best at. I think I wanna go around and work with them on their drawing a little bit. I am a little bit bored right now, so if any of you guys want to grab me for help for 15 minutes. If you want to help me lay stuff out from my perspective, give me like a rough outline for these two characters, uh, like okay. size-wise. So you want him kind of on his side like that? Like an angle. Let's draw his foot over here. Then we can make it so that he lost his like little pebble that he was holding. Draw these stepping stones over here. So now all of a sudden it looks like he's escaping him from like a cave and these are all raised up. Oh, we got you the cheat code. Just keep working at it. Thanks, Tage. I'm kind of struggling with making sure there's actual contrast. We could try doing some adjustment on this to make it look a little bit more three-dimensional. Do you mind if I erase this and, no. and adjust it a little bit? However you detail it, it's kind of up to you. This is looking really good. Just keep going at it. And it was cool to just see him draw, like, in person. I hadn't seen that before. I love learning. That's how I become a better artist. Zach has a really, really good hold on composition, on his characters as well. We got Bebop Chevy right here doing some tags. Little B guy. We got my man right here, Rabbit Man, tagging up ZAC everywhere Zach because he funds their graffiti habit. First things first, I really like your dynamic fire over here. I think we can make the flames with a little bit more movement. Okay, go for it. I'm gonna erase the corners over here real quick. I think especially since this is in the foreground, it'll look really, really nice. Okay. For the background, similar to the cityscape you did for that one, yeah. if you do like silhouettes for those, okay, yeah. I think it'll look really nice. Savannah, if you would like some of my help or suggestions, you have me for 15 minutes. The floating leaves everywhere. Is it obvious that they're the bee wings? I mean, I'm not really sure. Hope I can help you add some in the foreground. I think you have your style down very well. I'm gonna compositionally help you adjust a couple things, place a couple things here and there to kind of like bounce things around. But adding like a little bit of something like by the leaves makes it look like the leaves are almost like burning up. All right, you think Thank you got Thank you it? so much. Yeah, I appreciate it. He was right. It was exactly what my piece needed. I do want to do like the hive up here. I just need help with that. Let's make this look like a little bit of rubble, kind of like the remains of the building. You can kind of decide how you want to detail this. I guess the street sign would be cool. Let's do that then. I think your main concern right now should be time. So just go ham. Ben, be quiet, but give me something to draw. A hot dog stand. Let's see if anyone can figure that out. We'll play Pictionary. Whoever can guess it first gets an advantage. All right, class, bring your attention up here. We are going to play a game of Pictionary. A game. Ben and Mackenzie gave me a word, and first person to guess the word wins. Ladder. Whiteboard. The swing. Dunk tank. No. Hot dog stand. Oh, you got it. Wait, I didn't even draw the hot dogs yet. See, that's three challenges in a row. Woo! I smelled the glizzy in the air. Well, here's your advantage. You get to choose one of your competitors, and for an hour, they need to use their non-dominant hand. I can't do it to you twice. We're cool. Oh, thanks, man. It's either going to be Shaq or it's going to be Ryan. I'm almost done, too. Ryan seems like he's got a lot to do. As much as I want to just throw it in your face and give it to you, I think strategically... <sighs> What? Okay, Vinny, what's the decision? But strategically speaking, Ryan, he's got a lot of work to do. He already switched to his left hand. All right, let's go. I'm gonna have to give it to Ryan. One hour, Ryan. Can I erase with my right hand? Sure. Okay, sure. okay. With your right hand. <laughs> How good are you with your left hand? Not great. How often do you draw with your left hand? For like a challenge in a video once before, that's about it. Yeah, at least you have some experience. <laughs> I'm gonna lose today. Vinny, why are you enemies with everyone? I got a lot of beef. I haven't said anything to you. He really not gonna like me for this one, because as soon as I'm done, my picture, I'm gonna go over there and help Ryan with it. I could have sworn just the other day Shaq was helping this man with his painting. I mean, I could have won with or without Shaq. He was like, hey man, care if I graffiti on this? This is sick. I guess. I traded uh, Shaq out with Savannah. Vinny, you did get saved by Savannah. I did, we're cool. She was gonna eliminate you and then... We kind of made a pact yesterday. She held her word and a pinky promise is a pinky promise. That's all I had going for me yesterday was a pinky promise. But I don't think my animation was that bad. Nah, his animation was the worst. <laughs> Feel <laughs> me.
Definitely a little competitiveness there. I'm glad other people are having beef and not me. I can just concentrate on what I'm doing. After looking around, whose piece are you the most worried about? Pretty much everybody. That's why I chose Ryan, because he's got a lot of work to do. I just need to somehow finish it with my left hand. Even with the ruler, it feels so weird. But this is so hard. I feel like I don't know how to use my body right now. Jack's over here helping me, trying to make sure I can finish. I really appreciate you. Oh my god, I'm gonna name this Broken Street sign, Vincent Street. Time's up, I can use my right hand, now I gotta finish. I'm feeling pretty confident, honestly. Creating some highlights. Oh yeah, I'll do that. I definitely Definitely used every last second to did the best I could do. All right, we got a minute left. I'm just darkening up my background. Jake, I don't have my sound effect. Can you give me a bell sound effect? <laughs> One more time. No. Bell. <laughs> All right, you guys heard the bell. Time is up, so everyone stop working. Good job, everyone. Who would like to go first? All right, Ryan, why don't you step on up? I did about an hour of this with my left hand, and then uh, my boy Shaq helped me finish, so I appreciate that. Sorry, Vinny, we have a finished piece. <laughs> this is like a post-apocalyptic scene, and they're like on top of Earth. The street is uh, Vincent Street, and it, <laughs> it's closed. I have a feeling you might be going home today. Uh -oh. <laughs> yeah, I tried to get as many of Zach's characters on here as possible. They are what's left on Earth after the apocalypse. There's a big honeycomb. They've taken over an abandoned building. Very nice, Ryan. It's gonna be tough. Today, we're judging things a little bit differently. So I have three lovely TAs over here. They're each gonna give you a score out of 100, and we're gonna find the average of those scores. And that's gonna be your final score. I didn't sign up for this. I like the fur you added on Bun Bun. Is that Bun Bun Bun? Bun 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 Bun. Bun Bun Bun. bun, bun. <laughs> Ryan, just curious, how hard was it to draw with your left hand? Any type of curve or texture, it wasn't happening. I think it looks really nice. Thank you. Next up, Vanessa. This is my drawing. A bunch of the characters kind of living in this forest world. They're all friends here. This is a happy place. Flames peeking out behind the sun. The mushrooms are having a little reading time. This guy's really hungry and fat, so he's eating these little munchies. Then we have the bees up here, my clouds, my trees. And yeah, this is my drawing. Very nice. You could tell it's your style. Thank you, Vanessa. Shaq. This is the, the Rock Monster crew. You know what I'm saying? They come out with all their paints and their cans. You know they gotta get some food, so I got a barbecue going on right here. Crew member is looking at the trash for more paint. This crew member doing some roller fills. He's knocking down some paint, and like the other ones are kind of playing in the paint. This octopus looking thing. We got this bee right here. He's killing it, spray painting the stop sign. It says, don't stop. Won't stop, word to P. Diddy. This lonely bee over here, he just bust out this art piece that looks super tight. It's a lot going on. On, but I kind of like the way it came out. Very cool. Thank you, Shaq. <laughs> we need Shaq to go home. Next, can we have Savannah? Let's go, Savannah. I wanted a big character in the middle as a focal point. My goal with the composition was to have all the sets of eyes kind of looking toward the center. That way, your eye never really leaves the piece. The bee has flown too close to the sun, which is right behind him, and all of the mushrooms are pointing at the sun, trying to warn him. He's now losing pieces of his wings, which are flowers and leaves. So you can see here, like on his tail, he's lost a leaf. All of his wings are basically gone and floating around this mushroom in the hot air balloon over there. Round of applause for Savannah. Finally, can we have Vinny? So the three characters I choose were uh, Giga Shroom, Rocky, and Pebble. The scene is it's in a cave and that's the environment in which you'd find these characters because they're rock related. Rocky's kind of the big guy and this is like his domain and he's guarding it in the cave right here. But we got Giga Shroom and he's running from him and we got Pebby falling from the sky. You can see he's losing one of his rocks. It's typically he holds the rock, the character. Pretty much just disturbing and stealing something from Rocky. Thank you, Vinny. Vince's piece is actually pretty good. 25% of it. Now the other 75% is in question. And I'll let you guys, the viewers, choose that, okay? We need to stay, baby. I'm open. I would be so sad if I made it to day four and didn't get to continue on to the next challenge. Yeah, this might be the last day. Well, this time there's at least three people giving scores, so we're gonna find the averages of each score. I hate this. This is so hard. How have you been doing it for the past three or four days? I think they're pretty nervous giving out the scores, and I do not blame them. What? This is not fun. I think I have my score. I feel like I'm more nervous than the contestants. I have all my TA scores. We are gonna find the average right now. I am very proud of you all, but obviously someone's gonna win today, get an advantage, and someone's gonna lose and unfortunately get kicked out of art class. We're gonna start with the winner. Everyone, the winner is, drum roll. Savannah, good job. Here is your test score. Do you have a little speech? Vinny, thanks for not sabotaging me today. I owe you one. No, we're, we're square. Okay, cool. 
In second place, with a score of 88, we have Ryan. What? There you go. Thank you. Good job, Ryan. I got second. Third, with a score of 87 out of 100, we have Vanessa. I wasn't last. Oh, no. Don't do that. Vinny and Shaq, can you two come up here real quick? Oh, boy. So, unfortunately, one of you will not be graduating art school. I see. Do you guys have any words for each other before I give you your scores? No, I hope you lose. That's all. I don't want to go home. Oh, I was going to say something sweet. Uh, you can still say it. But I was going to say, you know, not being an artist coming in, I hope I've gained your respect and the other artist's respect and hope to one day call myself an artist as well. All right, well, no matter what happens, I am very proud of you both. Here are your scores. Here we go. You guys want to compare them? Yeah, I think I'm still in this thing. I got an 86. I got an 89. Just kidding, I got it. <laughs> oh my god, bro. Yeah, you got me on that one, though. My hot sink. All right, Shaq, you may take a seat. Thank you. Thank you. Vinny, which means, unfortunately, you have been eliminated from art class, so you will not be graduating. Yep. We have a grant for you. Oh, sweet. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'll take that. A parting gift for you. Thank you, thank so, you, thank you. Do you have anything you want to say to the audience? Uh, it was fantastic. I learned a lot, not only from Zach, but I also learned a lot from my fellow students every day, different techniques. Everybody was super nice, super helpful, and just coming in, literally knowing nothing. It just goes to show, you know, if you're open to it and you're coachable, you can learn anything. All right, well, Vinny, you may exit. Good job, Vinny. Savannah, do you want to come up over here real quick? I'm going to tell you your advantage right now. So for your advantage tomorrow, halfway through the challenge, you can switch two people's art. Oh, I'm so excited. I can't wait to put that to good use. Well, with that being said, subscribe to see who wins tomorrow and who graduates and wins the 10 grand. And I will see you guys. Later. Bye.